In this video, I'll talk about the Find toolbar and demonstrate using Find and Replace. In the first box, you have the Find Text text field. If you want to quickly find a piece of text that's inside your document, you would just type it in here. For instance, if I put Find Toolbar, it'll find the first search term phrase in my document, if any, that matches Find Toolbar when I hit Enter. And we'll go to the beginning of the document, if necessary. My cursor was past the Find Toolbar, so that's why it didn't show. But then I hit yes, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that again, actually. If you are already past the all the instances of the text in your document, it will say Open Office Writer has searched to the end of the document. Do you want to continue at the beginning? If you put yes, it will search the rest of the document. So in this case, it finds Find Toolbar. And from there, you could change that into your own text. On the toolbar, you have the Find Next and Find Previous buttons, but there's nothing to actually help you replace the text. And as we know, we do have the Find and Replace option, which we can click over on the standard toolbar to bring up the dialog. But if we want to add that functionality to the Find toolbar, we can actually left-click on the little end to bring down the drop-down menu and hit Customize Toolbar. Now from here, you'll see that one of the toolbar commands that are actually disabled is find and replace. So if we wanted to put find and replace on the find toolbar, we just left click there, hit OK. And now we have that same icon over here for the find toolbar. Now we can click that and bring up the find and replace dialog box, which is where you want to go if you want to actually find and replace text, multiple instances, or even phrases. So here we can search for text. For instance, further on in this document, I have the term lorem as in lorem ipsum, which is the default text that people like to use when they're making mock-up websites and that kind of thing. Now we can search the document by hitting find here or hitting enter in this text box. It'll go to the next instance of lorem inside of the document, and it'll basically prompt us with what we want to do with it. So if we want to replace that text with something else, like replacement text, for instance, very uncreative, I know, and hit replace, then that lorem actually gets replaced with replacement text. And that is case uh, sensitive, of course, as well. Now, if we want the search term to only find instances which match the capitalization, we can check this box here before we search for the next term. And if we want only full words to show, as in if we have let's say two letters AM for the word AM, and we only want the entire word AM to be showing up, not any other words which may contain AM, then we can check the whole words box down here. Now, every time you hit replace, it's going to immediately find the next instance of lorm or whatever term you have inside of your find uh, search for box, and we can choose to replace that. Now we can do this manually for every instance inside of the document, or we can simply hit replace all, which will find every instance of that remaining and replace it with the replacement text. Another way to do it would be to hit find all, which will find all instances of lorm inside of your document. As you can see here, it finds the next one there, and I'm sure there's more down here as well. And we can hit replace, which will replace each instance of lorm with the replacement text. Alternatively, of course, you just hit find and then replace all, which will do the exact same thing, replacing every time it finds the search key with your replacement text. Now, if you're looking to get really advanced with find and replace, you can hit more options down here, which will give you, as you would expect, new options. So, for instance, you can check the backwards box, which would look for search terms where you have the same term but it might be spelled backwards instead. So if it, you found a term that was M-E-R-O-L for morel, or your computer did rather by using the find button, then that would actually count as a match here. Regular expressions here are a way that people can come up with formulas in order to find text within their document, or different matches rather. And it's much more complicated than just using simple text strings like this. But we're not going to cover it in this video series. It's a whole other topic where it has a lot that goes into it. Now, you can also search for similarity instead of just trying to find exact matches. So if you click here, you, it opens up another option box, which you can put here, to uh, determine how stringent you want to be with your similarity. Are you okay with having two characters, three characters, and that couple extra at the end in the case of add characters, or a couple extra at the beginning? 
And when you have combine here, all three of these become acceptable, meaning that you can have two extra characters at the end, two at the beginning, and two can be mismatched, or however many you set in each of these boxes. Now when you search for styles down here, that's actually referring to the text style of each body paragraph inside of your document. So you can find areas which may be using the text body style and replace that with something else, for instance, heading. Which could be very nice if you have to do a mass replace of a heading style. Maybe you want to change heading 2s into a heading 1 across your whole document. That could be a very quick way to do that. And the last option box is for notes. You can set notes within your document that don't actually become part of the document itself, but it's added information for the person who's writing the document to be able to know, but it doesn't actually get printed out. I haven't shown how to do that yet, but it's good to know that you can actually search for text within those text, those note boxes rather, and replace them with other text as well, in addition to just the information that's in the document itself. Now, in addition to searching by those six terms, you can also add in extra attributes or format that you actually want to search by. For instance, you could add in font size or font color, where you filter by the color or the font size. Um, of each element inside of your document. And a quick way you can actually do that all in one is to hit the format button. So now, for instance, we can type in slant here for the font, and then it will only find terms inside the document that are actually using the slant font. So if I was to go ahead and put find toolbar here in the text and hit find, of course, going back to the beginning, it will find this right here because that's using slant font. However, if I put a new term for find toolbar and I change the font and style, let's say to heading one, which is going to be Arial instead, and I hit find toolbar, then it's actually not going to find that. You see, even though the term is find toolbar, it only finds the term that is using the slant font. And you can customize that with a whole lot of other attributes and a whole lot of other formats in here. So you can really play around with this and get very specific, even without using regular expressions. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll be covering the formatting toolbar. See you then.